mentioned earlier, I will not uh, stay uh, repeating. Uh, this graph, uh, just, just to give you an overview, uh, from 1997 until uh, the end of uh, on July 2010, to show you uh, how the fuel wood price in Estonia has developed. And uh, here uh, we had quite a big anomaly that uh, normally uh, happened everywhere in neighborhood countries as well. All the wood prices uh, went very high and then the recession came and all the prices dropped uh, radically down. And now we are having uh, further growth here. Uh, so we had a long stable period for, for, for 10 years and then uh, not 10 years, it was about uh, 5 years, and then the, 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 the continuous growth started uh, until this kind of uh, bubbling here. Uh, but now, next picture I'll show you from that point when we started to produce chips, uh, 2009, January 2009. So if you could uh, see that picture here. That uh, shows you how the price of uh, uh, wood energy, different uh, commodities of wood energy has developed from January 2009 till now, basically till April uh, 2011. So what we are selling uh, in marginal quantities nowadays is the residuals. These are piles at forest road side. This is the price in euros now, and at forest road, uh, solid cubic meter. Uh, actually here, by the way, not, not megawatt hours, this is more common, maybe understandable for you. Uh, then I have here a price delivered to customer of fuel wood. And then I have a price delivered uh, to customer of chips. The difference between uh, chips and fuel wood here is about 10 euros, but the cost for production of chips today is about 7 euros. So if you deduct 7 euros here, you can see that we get paid higher price, about 2 3 euros per cubic meter higher price if we chip the wood and supply it to a CSP compared if we not chipping the wood if we're talking about round wood and supply to other customers. So that that's that's one thing which has um, been hot topic in Estonia within la since basically since end of 2009. Why we are chipping wood and burning? Because well, from forest owners' point of view, we get higher price. But of course, if you look at uh, the uh, the uh, uh, mechanical forest industry, for example, who is not. Uh, getting any subsidies uh, from, uh, uh, from the state, then they have to compete. And that has been a very concerning uh, issue for, for a local uh, mechanical industry companies. Um, so uh, uh, that would mean also that uh, if the uh, more economy uh, improves and develops and the companies who are using, for example, fuel wood here for producing of something else, not just burning it, uh, then they could maybe pay some higher price. But what I think is that these guys uh, consuming uh, chips in CHPs have today enough uh, in the pockets to take over. So, uh, so therefore, um, uh, the uh, forest owners probably have uh, all the possibilities to uh, sell their wood in coming uh, years. Uh, I mean, even small scale forest owners, as we are not probably seeing any kind of uh, huge drops uh, like we have here. But concerns maybe also some output or solo solo trades that the which we think that now the uh, the fuel wood will set a floor for the market and and the other commodities won't drop below that level anymore. 
because uh, the conditions are so favorable. Uh, and the trend um, of, of uh, the price trend uh, of the fuel wood in uh, uh, coming periods, uh, let's say second half of the year, is slightly upwards, uh, and, and that will be seen also, I think, uh, for the chips that these prices uh, grow further. Uh, if you look at the uh, current uh, total uh, uh, cutting volume in Estonia, total cutting volume, including here, let's say 2.8 or <coughs> of state forest and the rest private forest, then the uh, estimated quantity by 2020 here, the last column, is, is, is about 10 million, which is uh, not uh, even more than we had uh, during the mm, uh, end uh, or beginning of 2000. Uh, so, uh, so that means that uh, traditional uh, fuel from cuttings could not give uh, more than, let's say, about 20% of the additional quantity which comes here to the market. So it means that if the bigger demand uh, will be established, the additional resources could be better used, but not so much uh, a traditional run. Um, and, uh, and the potential is already today here, so uh, this 5 million cubic meters of fuel wood and forest residues, which is currently available, but due to this 8 million, currently we are uh, producing annually about 3 million cubic meters of uh, fuel wood and residues in Estonia. But uh, due to the fact that, uh, that the uh, annual harvesting quantity uh, could not grow uh, very much in coming years, the uh, share of uh, other uh, biomass, wooden biomass, uh, branches, crops, uh, uh, residues from the haircut area, probably will uh, have in the future the uh, bigger uh, share, uh, which, which they are today. Uh, and, uh, and also what, uh, what is, has been available very easily for many years and uh, easily because of the logistics and because of low uh, <coughs> procurement costs are the residues from traditional forest uh, processing industry. But this also would not grow because we decide of, uh, uh, of already established uh, uh, heat or power uh, uh, and heat and power uh, production facilities that has been built and also will be built additional some pellet companies, pellet factories, as well as uh, increasing demand by board companies. So it means that the competitive uh, level will grow further and that uh, kind of residues uh, most probably will go uh, be consumed by, it, by, by those um, uh, companies as well. And uh, what makes it uh, challenging for Estonia is how, what, uh, how the exporting companies and the integrates which are in Scandinavia attitude uh, or behave in, uh, um, in politics, uh, what kind of uh, tactics uh, and strategy we could see here regarding the procurement of bulk food. So, because currently in Estonia we do not uh, use locally all the bulk food we produce. We do not use, for example, first bulk food at all. If we saw in the picture, this goes to export. Uh, we have some uh, small scale uh, conifers bulk uh, factory as well as Aspen consumer. So, it means that uh, as, as the price has been uh, set uh, and also in the future will be set and that harbors for bulk food. If we compare it with the price uh, provided by the energy producers, this is the tricky point here. That may, may uh, 
lead to an, a, a situation where we are not having in the future any more free commodities, fuel, wood, pulp, wood, and so on, but we are having only solo and the rest, and rest to be considered depending on the market situation, whether energy wood or all pulp. So, uh, my last slide just uh, knocking on the head that uh, actually the wood comes out for the forest has been used for energy throughout the centuries and it will have this uh, position also in the in the future and that, that's for sure. So thank you for this listening. questions regarding state uh, forestry or, or market issues uh, type to you to ask them. Thank you Olaf. And do you have any questions? We don't have one. Okay, Mark, if that we uh, have time for questions, thank you again. And you can ask uh, the contact is here so I can give this uh, presentation yes. to you. Yes. And